Well, America, this spending bill is by far the worst deal that America could ever get. Now, I'm not one who believes in shutting down the government. I'm not. I don't think you shut down the government. I think that's bad. I think that's stupid. Whatever. But on this one, America, I'm almost all about it. Shut it down. Shut it down. I mean, I really, I am a, you know, I got, I don't mind. I used to really believe in this president. I did. Um, but I got to tell y'all. This budget deal that this president is pushing is by far some of the, the worst thing that could happen to America. It really is. I mean, beyond the fact that, you know, it's not a real budget deal. Like, I mean, it's, just, I mean, it's not like a real budget where people come to the table, they bring their ideals, and they create a budget. This is a lobby-run, big bank-endorsed spending, uh, spending bill that is bad for America. Five reasons why it's bad. Reason number one. The bill includes $470 million of war planes that the Pentagon it didn't even ask for. So it's $479 million of money going to Pentagon that they don't even want, right? They've cut $93 million from women, infants, and children, which is the WIC nutrition program, taking food from babies. We've seen this before, right? They've nullified. The voter-backed marijuana legalization district of Columbia. First, D.C. needs to have statehood. Two, the fact that 70% of the voters, if you believe in democracy and you believe in our Constitution like they say they do on Capitol Hill, how could you stop 70% of a city, which should be a state, saying that we want to legalize marijuana? Now, that move was pushed by the pharmaceutical and alcohol manufacturers because they want to stop the legalization of marijuana. This is all lobbyists at its finest. All right, the other thing the bill does is it makes taxpayers, it gives taxpayers the ability before, after Dodd-Frank, we derivatives, like high-level derivatives that got us into this fucking, you know, breakdown that we're in right now could not be, you know, couldn't be regulated. But now they could be bailed out once again. And the worst part about this whole situation is they have now put big money back into policy by increasing campaign finance limits. Worst budget deal in your life, America. Run like hell.